everybody this is Kay here from Paper Craft with Kay thank you so much for joining me today I'm so grateful for all those people that are subscribing to my channel and uh, more appreciative of all those lovely lovely comments people are making um, please give me the thumbs up make a comment that'd be wonderful and subs keep su subscribing if you want to see more so I'm showing you again the journal that I've been doing the file folio journal because it's got because a folio journal is a folio is where you've got ephemera and a journal is like normal so I've got the two combined that seems to be my I seem to quite like that way but um, my next one will just be a journal I think um, this is a uh, time and is, is an illusion by Stamperia and um, we've, I've shown you three parts already and this is the the last part and uh, as you can see that's the cover again and uh, off camera I have done lots of things because I just was taking too much because <laughs> you don't really need to see everything so I created a little um, double pocket down here just here and here and then there I just put some little pieces from that I cut from the papers and these are just some leftover bits for people to to embellish or make little tags themselves if they want to and this beautiful woman that's on the front I didn't want to I was going to put it there and I thought, no, the person who's buying it might not want it there. So I'm just going to put it just there in the little pocket there. It's just resting in the pocket. So I decorated that on that um, pocket there with some elements from the um, collection and finished off the tags. I did take the ribbon off in the end because it just didn't look right. And I was just using paper. And this um, is not a real stitching because I just don't have a machine and I don't think you can see in some just little bits and pieces in, of ephemera in here and some things from the, from the collection. So there's a double pocket there. They made a double pocket in the end. So they're all just, just pop, popped in there like that. That's not going to go in there. <laughs> yeah. So the back is just plain, like the back is just plain, so you can journal on the back if you like. Oh, could just whatever you like and um, over here I put some lace on that bit there that matched I thought the blue matched the paper as well and in the little uh, tuck spot here I'll just add a little bit more of the paper just to give it a bit of um, difference in texture and just put some other things in there a little postcard we need to probably do something about the back of that I forgot about that one and just some bits and pieces from the collection and in the envelope itself, I just, um, just like I said, just used that woman there. And I put a, uh, a part of a ticket there and a clock there. So she's sort of like leaning on that. And so those, just those, those two bits go in there. So I know lots of ephemera, but I have got some ephemera in the journal itself. So in the journal, it's going to go there. So there's the cover just added a little element there I didn't overly decorate it because I just wanted to leave it blank so there's a little tuck spot for the card there and use the stamp to create the stitching again and the, the doily and the envelope has got some uh, things in here as well there's two there And in here, the uh, in the end, what I did with the envelopes, I realised they were actually two different sizes. So I actually um, one was sort of stuck. Like, I just cut it there, and I just used the flap like that. There's like a little tuck spot there, and some more elements here from the tags and whatever. So and the, the side is blank for the person to use, however they want. So that's there. Oh, what have I done wrong? Something's, something's popped. Something's popped. What's happened there? I'll just put them there for the time being. We'll work out where they're going. Oh, they come out of there. Oh, duh. <laughs> so, maybe I need to put a clip there as well didn't realize they're going to pop out like that maybe they might pop out when I sort 
do the tie. So I've just got some ephemera. I think I've seen you've seen this in ephemera before. In the double pocket that I made out of book pages. Um, and there's, like I said, there's a tuck spot that I made it with the envelope flap and some more in here. There, just some papers from the collection. And the other side of the card has got some tags as well. I've just left the back of the tags from the collection plain because they, they can still be written, written on, written on, written on because they haven't got lots of stuff on them. And just a little tuck spot there with some bits and pieces that I cut from the collection. And I just uh, created a little ephemera envelope here with just some little pockets with some things in there for the person to use, some clocks. Uh, old bank note from the collection I had and just some little things there as well and just some bits and pieces like I said from the collection all in there just to work with if they want to watch it and I actually used a, <coughs> a rose gold clip to keep that in place. So what I'm going to show you today um, was I'm in and airing about uh, sewing it in I'm not sewing it in but I'm not going to sew this one in I'm actually going to just tie it in make sure I've got enough thread oh. it's probably way too much but it's best to have too much than not enough and I'm just going to tie it into the to, to the folder itself, the journal into the folder. Should I do a double 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 thing? Might just do a double thing just to be on the safe side, wouldn't like it to sort of come adrift. Oh, what have I done wrong here? Oh, so I'm trying to include this one down here. That's what I'm trying to do. It didn't work, did it? So what I might do is. ready for a knot and then <coughs> tie the knot with that included. Let's do that. This is just normal string. I haven't used um, elastic this time. I think we can still be Take off if I want to, and a bit of a end there if I like. Let's see if that works. Because like, if it doesn't work, I'll have to plan B, which is sew it in. <laughs> this is going to come keep coming in dark, I can just see. I might have to use a, um, a proper clip. The trouble is with proper clips in the middle, they sort of take up a lot of room. Try that. Okay, let's have a look. Um, the thing is now is do I want to put lace on it or not? I think 
think that when I tie them in, I like to sort of use a bit of light to cover up the um, holes, but I'm never too sure what to do with the, the ones I've tied in. Quite like the lace, though. I think it looks just adds a little bit of. Um, this was a bit sparkly. This this came from a giveaway by Julie from Art and Junk Journals with Julie, and I'll put her link below. Uh, this was one of her giveaways. She's won, won a couple of her giveaways. Very generous with her giveaways. Julie is. I tried to do a giveaway for my hundred, and only two people. And I had four prizes, but only two people got back to me. So that was a bit. Um, you know, I tried to do it twice. That's oh, right. Sorry, two people originally didn't get back to me, and then did it again, and then the next two people didn't get back to me either. So disappointing that they missed out. so it doesn't fray. Okay. All right, and now we just need to do a closure and I do, oh, my, excuse me a minute, I need my ribbons. Silly of me to put them all the way over there. All right, let's have a look. Um, I could do this cover. Is it the wrong kind of brown? But sort of, I don't think so. I was gonna. Well, sometimes when I forget to do the closures, I just mm, can't find my little knife. That'd be annoying. Be right about right. I can't find my knife. Um, sometimes I just do. I'll pick this up a bit and do it under here. But um, I think this one I'm just going to wrap it around. So I've got to find the end first. Let's do that. Wrap it around a few times. I've seen quite a few people do the wrap around kind. So let's see. I like that. And um, if not, I have to go back to finding my knife and doing the lift underneath the paper that's already gone. Oops, it's come out of my little box. I'm going to leave it off there. Plenty. Yes, quite like that. Alright, let's make sure I've got enough for the end because I might just redo that again because it doesn't look like it's a Big enough. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is. All right. So I think that's it. Um, this is this will be for sale in my Etsy shop if you're interested, and um, I'll put the link for my Etsy shop below. I have other things for sale in my Etsy shop, so please check it out. And um, I'll be really grateful if you spread the word that I do actually have an Etsy shop and um, do sell my journals through that. So hopefully. Somebody will like this and uh, buy it from me. <laughs> I do love making them though, but it would be nice to sell some. All right, thank you very much again. So please give me a thumbs up, make a comment, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here from Paper Craft with Kay. I'm so glad that you are here to join me today, and I'm thankful for all those people that are writing such lovely things and uh, I hope to see more comments that'll be really lovely because lots of people watch but don't necessarily comment the comments are really good for building people's YouTube channels so channels so it'd be really lovely if more comments came give me the thumbs up that's really important too and subscribe if you want to see more so today I am participating in Thrifty Thursday that is hosted by Cherie of Turquoise Dreamings and I'll put her link below um, 
I'm going to show you this book haul I got from a deceased estate. It cost, I just, she put, she advertised on Facebook Marketplace and um, a section of books, and then um, they couldn't, I couldn't go down and get them the day they wanted me to because it was just too late in the afternoon. It was going to be too busy because they just lived the other side of the CBD. And um, so then the next day they decided to have a bit of a garage sale. So I was up really early and that started at 8 o'clock. So I got there about 20 past 8. She said, you know, you have to take them all. And I said, that's fine. But I didn't realise there were so many. And I ended up with a boot full of, of books, um, which cost me $40 Australian, which isn't very much at all. So I went through them all and I've culled them. So over the next few weeks I'll probably, I will be showing the books um, and uh, um, mainly. So in the books I just found... Various bits and pieces that I can use from ephemera. This is a private school in Adelaide. An old um, newspaper clippings. So perhaps this person was reading the review of this book. By the looks of things, because that's the main thing that's on there. An old calendar. 1967. That'd be good. Um, this is a cruise ship information I thought that would be really good for an ephemera or to add in a, in a travel journal maybe 1955 <laughs> didn't realize so I didn't actually look at the date before so that's that's pretty good I could put that in a travel journal couldn't I that would be good it's a bit, got like a bit of a scribble marker on there somebody scribbled on it I don't know if you can see but that would be good and then an old um, field regiment association stickers a couple of stickers um, this looks like a mm, testimony of somebody who did something in a marathon festival with Korean writing. I just thought that would be interesting for something. A handwritten letter from 1983. That could be added to something ephemera. This is a reunion dinner, 1984, with lots of names from various um, generations that went to the school so that would be good for um, to add an ephemera somebody did something to this leaf I, don't, I think it's real but it's just I think it's been coated with something but isn't that gorgeous might even just keep that for myself put that to one side I think okay put that there beautiful leather bookmark that's lovely might add that to something in a tax invoice and various other things that I thought could be used as an ephemera. An old flight ticket. Doesn't say what year. Oh, this is the date. Doesn't say what year. And another handwritten thing. So it's on the back of a bookmark. I thought that would be helpful. And some old newspaper clipping, another bookmark. Some information about an encyclopedia five and six that's five shillings and six pence. I'm assuming that's cheap. I don't, I don't know how much five shillings was, probably a lot of money in the old days. Another bookmark and another bookmark, an old envelope with the postage on it. Oh, that's good. This is um, I should pull this out from a, a book because this was about various Australians. That's right, I pulled, pulled them out for the photographs because I thought I could use the photographs for making, you know, um, false digital slides because I thought the pictures, would, like these ones in particular, would be really good to use that for. for fake slides in journals. Now the bookmark, this is a... Um, oh, I can't think of his name. A, a good series of pictures of, of Ned Kelly. I can't think of who did it. Oh, I did know, and I've forgotten off the top of my head. Thank you card, which I could probably just use decorator. An old docket again, so again, oh, no date, but I thought that was pretty sufficiently old. Some old writing, old bit of this is a tax invoice from a book company, but the trouble is it's all faded. I can just basically read the name of the bookshop this was from. The bookshop disappeared a long time. Another handwritten note. This is I also pulled this out from one of the old books. This is just different um, 
book, book tokens and I thought it'd be good for ephemera. Just bits and pieces from the books that I looked at. And again, some more pictures that I could use. Whoops. So yeah, this is from the Ad this is from a book about the um, Adelaide Children's Hospital. So just some ephemera from that book. And a map and a plan of the hospital and the actual hospital there, which is still exists, but they're um, talking about relocating, spending money and building a new hospital because it's a bit rabbit warreny and a bit old now. But I don't know whether they will or not because, like everywhere in the world, we're just sort of thinking about our um, hospital systems. Okay, so this is one of the books. Is uh, one day I'm going to pick up a nice um, cover and I'm going to create it one of the cookery journals I see uh, Cherie do from Turquoise Dreaming, and I just thought I could use the pictures for that. So it's just an old book. Did it say, did I say how old it was? 1976. So it's actually older than my eldest daughter. It's even actually older than I've been married. So I just thought that we could use the pictures for that. Fresh lemon drink. I like looking at old pictures because some of the things that just goes to show how much we've changed with our food. You know, like in Australia, we have a lot more. Um, we have a lot of Asian influences and lots of dishes now. So, but we, I think we still stick to the old. I can't, I can't eat really spicy food, so yeah. I hope you just got one of those journals that um, Cherie schools. Nice cover though. That's nice and bright. That's a bit too big for a journal. Too big for Joe. Then this was a book from a little booklet, one shilling. You can see how old it is. Um, this is just a story, 1945. So this is just the story of the war, You're written in poem form. No pictures, but just felt that I needed to keep that, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just thought that was important to keep that. So I love that. It's a shame the picture of the front is cut, is, is broken off, because that's a really lovely picture as well. And I kept this one pruning for fruit, mainly because, oh, another bit of ephemera. I might leave that in there. So this is 1993, not because I'm in the, into pruning fruit, but because we don't have the room to grow, grow fruit trees. But I just thought that the this, the uh, sketches would be good for uh, a journal for, in, about botany or garden or anything like that. A couple of coloured ones for little, little tags. But I just thought the just a lovely stick pictures we just I just like the stick pictures. Oh that's good that's good fruit on it. Thought that could be used like I said oh, lots of blank pages in the pack. Mmm pack take them out. <laughs> then there's this book here an ABC of English use usage so it must have been by the way that's written looked like it must have been a school book. Uh, 1965. So this is just a book about um, what the word, what different words actually mean and how you use them in, in English, like what are conjunctions. Oh, goodness me, I'd have to, I've never seen anything quite like this. I'm not, was a parody. Words to do with the person. Oh, I see. Yep. Pronouns. Quatrains. Ooh. Goodness me, sonnets, similes, I know what similes are. So tenses, I know about tenses, spelling, stanzas, synonyms, yes. I'm not too sure what these other words are for 
In this book, Mr. has been made to present in dictionary form the main elements and the accidents and syntax of the English language, both have spoken and written. Well, there you go. And that was written in 1936. Don't do such complicated study of English anymore. Dictionary of Geography. Uh, looks looks like it was a school book at all as well, but I just, again, I just liked it for the... It's got a dictionary of, of ge geographical terms, but it's also got some really sort of interesting little diagrams of the terrains and things like that. It's just thought it would be a good book to use as fodder or just to add to a journal. Do you want to say how old that one was? Nineteen sixty eight. So this one here as well. I do have to clean this one up because it's a bit cover it still looks a bit grotty. So Couldn't find a date for this one. I don't think there's a date for this one. Is there a date for this one? No, I couldn't find a date, but I, I, I probably won't practice the letters myself. But I just thought that using some of the words as cover as <clears throat> titles on um, pages or um, journals, somebody's been practicing, that would be good. Hmm. Got a writing from somebody. <coughs> But yes, I just thought there would be something out as another added interest in the journal. <coughs> journal. If excuse me, I keep getting this <coughs> cough there. <coughs> Throaty coffee thing. Uh, this one is really old. It's really terrible condition. It's such a terrible condition. It's hard to work out what the title is. Homeopathic Velsicuria Medical Special. Surgical, sorry. It's just like there's a cloth cloth binding to cover the original binding there. But again, I just thought this would be good as collage follow. It's just falling apart here. I know that um, people really prize these spines quite a lot, but I'm um, not too sure how to get that out. So this is 19, 1876, so it's pretty old. The pages themselves are not too bad, actually, on a whole. They look like there's a bit of water on them in the past. No pictures, but um, so this page is obviously broken off enough that it's sticking out and caught a bit of breaking on the edges there. But uh, it's just really old. And I just hung on to it because it's all old. It's just too old to fix. I don't even think that... Is it worth keeping the covers? They're pretty dirty. Alright, <clears throat> and two more. This one in is a book about the story of science in the Royal Society. I just picked it up again. Just kept this one basically for the pictures. So this is a, this is a much newer book. Um, does it say? Does it say? 2010 copyright first published in 2010 so but I just it's a, just thought it had some nice illustrations in it oh another bookmark <laughs> the people I picked it up from um, they just lost their, their one of them jokingly said to me he said um, keep an eye open in the books for money he said because my father was known to put money everywhere so no I haven't come across any money just lots of other things but I just thought that the books would be, the pictures would be useful in a, that's a good one, I like that one, I can find it, find it again, that one there, that's good, I like them, some engineers in front of uh, some bridges, lots of old pictures of um, engineers and things like that, some new ones, some new engineers, oh that's good too, oh I like that, Picture of Shanghai, which is now currently <coughs> in severe lockdown. I like that. I like that page for signatures. That's really nice. Anyway, I just thought that maybe I could use some of the pictures. I just, I think I might be using the signatures though. They're, they're too different ones. 
develop newer than those ones. And the writing here is really lovely too. Yes. Like I said, I might as well culled them once and I'll probably end up culling them again if I find I'm not using them. This is a book that I actually remember using when I was at high school. So this has been around for, it says for secondary school, so this has been around for a long time. 1971, yes, so was it high school then too? So this person must be the same age as me. So this is a, just a, got some really good maps. Some nice pictures that are a bit dated really. A bit stereotyped because this says some Aborigines live by following the ways of their ancestors. Well, they do, but they don't dress like this. There's obviously some sort of ceremony. Australia is such a vast country. Like to, I live here in Adelaide, and we went to per, we went to Western Australia, drove over the Nullarbor Plain. It took us four days. So we drove from Wyala to to Woodna and stayed overnight there. Drove from Woodna to Nullarbor Roadhouse and stayed there to watch the look at the whales and the Great Australian Bight. Then we went to Euclid, stayed there, and then drove to Norseman. So it just took, and on the way home it took us three days to drive from, we went, we went home from Perth to Kalgoorlie. And drove back to Adelaide. It took us three days to get home. Because the reason why it took us four days to get there was because we wanted to see the whales. So to go anywhere just takes a long time. Don't, no, that's probably like America try, trying to drive from one side of America to the other side. It would if people live in Europe, they would probably go three or four, four or five countries before they, you know, in the space of time it takes us to go to. Um, Western Australia. So, like I said, it's got some really great maps, and so that's why. Well, I could use that. That's what I'm going to show you today. I'll show you some more next time, but I'm, I'm going to include a clip of all the books to start off before of before I started colouring them. So please uh, watch that to see how many I started off with. So, thank you very much for joining me today. Please give me the thumbs up, make a comment, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.